Yo, what's up guys, patch 1.1 just released, uh, also known as the big patch, and according to the patch notes, it should have fixed a lot of bugs and made improvements to the game, and I was wondering if this patch also fixed all the exploits and cheats in the game currently, so I immediately went and put it to the test, and in this video I will check out the most popular ones one by one, and show you whether they still work or not, or whether they have been patched basically. I will put a link in the description to each exploit shown in this video, where the exploit itself is to really explained. So for those not familiar with a certain exploit shown in this video, uh, definitely check out the description. And I will not drag this out any longer, so let's get right into it. So let's start off with the duplication glitch, probably the most popular glitch in the game. Does it still work? When I press the menu and sell button at the same time, we still get the glitched interface, so this can be good news. And let's check out if the duping itself still works. Ah, shit. And yes, duping still works as you can see. I just duped the divided we stand weapon a lot of times right here, even making me having too much weight to carry. But yeah, the duplication glitch is untouched and still working perfectly fine. Next on, let's check out if the infinite money exploit using the painting still works. As you can see here, I have the painting right here. Using this exploit, you can just keep selling these paintings until the vendor runs out of money. And then you can just reset the vendor by skipping 24 hours. And that way you gain as much money as you want, basically. So you can go all the way to the billions. And it does sell, as you can see. And we should get all the money this vendor has when we go out of the screen. And we do. So good news, the painting exploit for easy infinite money also still works. On to the perk points. Let's see if we still get double perk points from learning shards instead of taking them. I have currently one perk point. So let's learn these shards and see what happens. Yes, we do. We just got two points from a single shard, and let's try it out with this guy as well. And we got two points again. So the double perk points trick also still works. Next on, the insanely fast leveling exploit to max level that I recently covered using the projectile launch system. Let's check it out. And as you can see, the enemies still instantly respawn at this spot, while you can just keep blowing them up forever and ever, basically instantly after they respawn. And with this, we can conclude that the leveling exploit also still works perfectly fine. It has not been touched. And yeah, if you want your V to max level insanely fast, then definitely do this. Link will be in the description, in fact. And yeah, another exploit untouched and working perfectly fine. Next up, let's check out the exploit where you move extremely fast using uh, Krenzikov and dodging. This is also known as K-hopping or bunny hopping. And in my opinion, this exploit is pretty convenient because you can achieve ridiculous amounts of movement speed, which, yeah, obviously will take you from A to B very fast. So yeah, you, you don't need a car anymore. And as you can see, this also seems to still work perfectly fine. So yeah, that's nice. Let's go on to the next one. Next up are the skill shards related exploits. Can we still get skill shards in our inventory? For the quick hacking one, let's check it out. The answer is yes. And can we still use this to get max quick hacking level insanely fast? That's obviously the more important question. But yeah, let's check it out. Let's go to a vendor point and I'm now selling the shard with the duplication glitch. And yes, there it is. It's still working perfectly fine. We just gained some levels and we got 60k quick hacking experience points. Now let's check the same thing out with the handguns exploit. As you can see, you can still pick up the handgun skill shard. It will also go to your inventory. So this bug is still not fixed. And does leveling handguns also still work? But yeah, let's go to a vendor point and I'll just sell a few this time, like 10 or nine or something.
and yes we have gained some levels again and you can see we got 3600 experience in one go which equals nine shards as each shard gives 400 xp and yeah that brings me to the conclusion of this video it seems like all popular exploits are still working perfectly fine so that's yeah good news for console players or any players basically that uh, rely on these exploits or like using exploits and if you're confused about any of the exploits shown in this video then check out the description like i said before all of these exploits have really nice in-depth guides so yeah check that out you will definitely learn everything you want to know about uh, how to do these exploits and yeah etc etc and if you guys like this video then please leave a like and consider subscribing those two things will help out a lot and i will see you guys next time you know how it is